Hello and welcome to TGKMobile.com. This time with a Philip S10 convertible tablet and uh, enjoying the mobility and actually the relaxing tablet surfing mode here here in a cafe shop. So Philip S10 review coming up next. Vilim S10 plate and you really see where the name blade comes. It's so thin, really nice stealthy look on the on the plastics. Really nice, nice feeling on it and uh, really the, the design is flowing through the device as a rounded corners, really, really thin matte shapes. So typically convertible tablets are a bit bulky, but that's totally not the case here. So let's go further the device. Here's the lid that's glossy as you can see. On the left part we have two uh, USB ports, one USB uh, mini port which is uh, for transferring files and other stuff uh, with the other computer. Also we can share network and so on. Then a stylus pen which you can make bigger like this. It's not big one but it's still there. Then the SD card reader slot and the SD card goes fully in, so that's a nice thing. Then here it's a port for the headphones and then the I.O. port. So this gives you cable for uh, composite video, for v uh, RGB video out and audio out. So that's a nice specialty here. Then the power port of course, then VGA out and that's a nice thing to have on it too. No internet port but you can do that with a dongle quite, quite easily. On the back we have the battery. Let's take it off so we can see the second thing which is the SIM card slot. So if you order this device with a 3G modem the SIM card will be there. And then the hatch to access the SSD. So you have options for 32 to 64 gig SSDs, but you can also upgrade or change it to even faster. So that's a really nice thing. Access to, to the SSD is good to have. I will show more about SSD stuff on uh, SSD stuff on other video, but right now on this device the SSD is good. Okay, all closed hopefully now. Then let's go to the front because what we have there is a really nice keyboard. I really enjoyed the use of that. Big shift key, matte finish, page and up, page up and down buttons there. Really a good keyboard for, for typing and uh, also for, for fast uses. Then a small touchpad that's multi-touchpad. It's a bit small but it's good with the, with, the, uh, with the right drivers so you can do scrolling with two fingers and so on. And then the mouse button. It's a one key rocker so not as smooth as some other uh, devices but it gets the job done and I don't really need that at all because of the multi-touch on the pad itself. Over here the power button then lights for the standby and Wi-Fi and so on and then lights for the for the caps and so on so that's a nice thing. And as you can see, the frame is matte, which is a nice thing. The touchscreen is matte, which is a nice thing. And then we have a webcam over there. And again, a nice thing. Then we have antenna for the 3G. Uh, I haven't really saw any differences using that or not, but uh, that's cool to have. So you don't have to have it up all the time. So that's a nice thing. Uh, while going through the specs, let's boot it up. So this one is with 2 GHz Atom Z. CPU from Intel, 1 gigs of RAM, the GM500 GPU, uh, options for, for different size SSDs, so for, uh, you can get 32 gigs, 64 gigs or 860 gigabyte hard drive, which I would say don't buy it under uh, uh, unless you plan to upgrade to SSD. This is a mobile computer, so SSD all the way. Um, also, there's an option to get 1.3 GHz version. This one is 2 GHz, so you will see the action here. I would again go for the 2 GHz because that's the specialty here. You can actually 
use it quite nicely. You get more power that way. Windows 7 Home Premium, but also option for Windows XP. Uh, Windows Home Premium, again, my, my uh, suggestion as that way you get all the multi-touch action. Multi-touch isn't working on XP. And talking about the, the touchscreen action, I have to show and, uh, and explain a bit. When you have Windows 7 Premium and, and uh, multi-touch or, or real touch drivers on any device, let me zoom that way so you can see what I'm doing. Let's start with the start menu. When you open it up, you press the, the search query, you get the small keyboard thingy. So you can actually launch the keyboard from that. So that's a really uh, a time saving feature. But not only that, you can actually scroll from anywhere. So you can scroll the, the items on the, on the start menu or in any other place easily from any part of the screen, as you can see. So you don't have to try to target that, that uh, scroll bar. You can, you can scroll from anywhere. And again, anywhere when there is an input panel, you get the, get the keyboard pop-up thing there. It's a nice, nice thing. And uh, of course, I have to show you the tablet action. So when we are talking about tablet and multi-touch, I have to show you some multi-touch multi -touch action. So let's fire up Microsoft Surface College. So this is quite big software. It's designed for Microsoft Surface, but it's a good way of showing, showing some multi-touch action. And uh, also, of course, because I'm showing that on the other videos and devices, it's good to see how it compares. So we have three-point multi-touch. This software is designed really for two-point. So what we can do here is zoom up and down and rotate the pictures and do that at the same time. So this is really demanding. But as you can see, it's not real time, but it works smoothly. So that's the, the key here. It, it's following the, the, the actions. And even this screen is resistive and high resolution. It's actually really nice and easy to control anything. So I'm, I like the screen. It's really, really soft touch. So you don't have to uh, use your fingernails like I'm right now doing. I'm, I'm actually really used to do that. But uh, you can also uh, just use a finger and, uh, and uh, operate with that. So that's a cool thing. Another good test for tablet action is the Surface Globe. That doesn't even run on some devices. That's really demanding. It, it's 3D and uh, multi-touch all in one. So, so remember this shouldn't work very nicely on this device, but I will. St I want to sh still show it, show it to you so you can compare stuff. So let's go there. Let's uh, search my hometown so you can see how it's going. It's still loading actually, so let's wait a bit. Okay, could we please now? Let's see. Still loading a bit. It it is really demanding. So. So it's, it's not that easy to get it up. And so I'm typing, as you can see, I'm typing with two hands. So you can see I'm, it's really easy to type with a, with a multi-touch thing. So let's press enter, let's close the, close the keyboard. And as you can see, it's rendering the 3D. Not again real time, but it's working. That's the key here. Let's zoom into Helsinki a bit more so we get to see the details a bit better and uh, manipulate it with uh, bigger details. Did I go too far? Yeah. And now while we, while I'm uh, zooming and rotating, you can see again, it's not real time, but as you can see, it's still following. Going too, too close is not a good thing. I'm not that good with the with the uh, globe thing. I'm just playing it with with the, with the multi-touch softwares, but it's working. And that's the that's the key here. Even it's very very demanding. So playing with that works. And again, not real time, but still working. Okay. And just to show you the 
the the three point point multi touch. Let's fire paint so you can see three points going at once. So we can do one point, two point, or three point. So with the one point, it's really, really following nicely. Let's take those away and no, I didn't want to save it. And you can see the three point, it's not that smooth. Two point, two point is smooth. Cool. I don't know the use for the three point other than maybe control alt delete on the, on the, on the keyboard, but it's cool to have it's a special thing on this one. Maybe you have some, some uses for that. So that's the tablet action, but of course, tablet has uh, some nice feature. To, uh, by having a tablet, you could get to some nice features. And one of the nice things for me, at least, is the sofa surfing. So let's fire up Engadget. So you can see how it performs on that kind of thing. So Firefox now supporting also the, the multi-touch and touch features on the Windows 7. That's a nice thing. So when loading the page, as you can see, I can start scrolling and I can scroll and, uh, and uh, throw it away. This is demanding side. It doesn't work this nicely on, on all the devices. So this is how you get with the two gigahertz Atom CPU. It's really nice. It's a bit stopping once in a while when it's loading some flash things, but as you can see, it's really smooth and you can scroll anywhere. You don't have to have any plugins anymore, even for Firefox. So that's a nice thing. Okay. So tableting or using the touchscreen either on, uh, on the, the, the laptop mode or of course in a tablet mode is nice on this because it's uh, it's so soft touch the really the thing here is that you need to need to have soft soft touch screen to use it with the fingers other than that it would would not be that nice uh, rotating the screen of course works there is no rotation button uh, so some of you might want to want to uh, program a, a pen flick for that but uh, it's it's still working and it's uh, it's uh, working nicely and smoothly so let me turn it to 90 did i no actually it's easier to show show here on a table it's not that easy to operate the touch screen so as you can see it rotates and, and the rotation is fast you should set up the rotation for the with the pen flex as you can see it's it's way faster way of, of rotating. Pen flicks are, are, are nice to do custom rotating and, and, and so on. Okay, so rotation is good. Let's make it back. So if you didn't know all the internal graphics, they obey the same thing, control alt and, uh, and cursor up, down or left, right, and you, you can rotate the screen. So tableting, touchscreen, action, nice good works fine then the next thing of course is go a bit deeper on the specs 2. gigahertz atom is good ssds are good 3g and wi-fi and bluetooth and uh, sorry there we go this is the software to control those features so again let's go a bit closer so you can see it so on all the other value products you get the similar software so you can put wi-fi Bluetooth cam and a modem on or off. It's working nicely and you can also uh, make it to remember the last stage or have it always on or off. So again, a nice thing. And the brightness can be controlled with that too. So that's a nice thing. It's a good to be able to control stuff on, uh, from the one software window. Okay. Second thing, uh, the SSD itself, it's a good SSD, it's not as fast as the fastest ones in the market separately, but it's it's one of the best on this kind of devices. So I will post the, the, the uh, test results to my site, jkkmobile.com. So check that if you need the specific, specific results. So, 
But all in all, it's a good SSD. You can upgrade this to even bigger and better and faster. But I will do another video about that, of course. So performance wise, touchscreen wise, design wise and so on. I really enjoy it on the, on the tablet mode, especially on sofa. It's it's nice because of its design. It's it's nice to use 1.2 kilos on, on the on the uh, uh, weight of it makes it really a two handed device or you have to have it on your knees. But uh, I think that's just still really good because uh, uh, you get the keyboard and really, really good battery life. Again, talking more, more about the battery life a bit later. But right now on the tablet front, I'm really enjoying, enjoying this device and uh, even considering to, uh, to have this as my main mobile device even on, on traveling because of that. So tableting with S10 uh, Plate is good for that kind of tablet use and I uh, have to show you also the handwriting because that's uh, I think it's as good as any of these kind of devices which means it's not the best thing but it's totally possible so whoops let me fire up that again. So when you're leaning to the frames, which you have it, have there quite nicely, you can type fine. It's it's okay. It works. But if you if you uh, touch the screen while typing, it's not that easy. Let's fire it up again. So now I'm touching the screen over here and then typing. As you can see, the the screen disappears. Let's do it the other way. Let's whoops. It's hard to hard to use it from this angle I'm filming. So if I touch first here, then touch outside, it doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't actually interfere with the screen. But the second you raise your pen, it does. So if you are doing this, if you accidentally touching the screen while writing, it's not good. But again, like many other other devices, leaning to the frame, then it's it's good, good to go. Okay. My as as you can see, my handwriting sucks anyway, so I'm I'm cool with the keyboard, and with keyboard again, because we have the three three point touch. You can touch even faster than many other devices. So let's type. Uh, It's it's registering everything really fastly, so that's a, that's a good thing for a keyboard. So you can really type on that. So S10 played for me that means mobility, the tablet action, really nice design, smooth, smooth finish, and so on. So summarizing it all, it's more powerful than many other devices, and in this scale, it's really nice looking, really good quality, and. Uh, have plenty of options because uh, there aren't that many devices with uh, such many options. So you can uh, you can you can have uh, different size SSDs and uh, operating systems and uh, and GPUs. So that's always a good thing. The pricing starts at six ninety nine dollars uh, from Dynamism.com, but we should hear soon uh, about the prices for the of also the high end models. So Keep my site jkmobile.com on your view because they should be releasing the prices in any second now. I will link those to the to my post. And uh, if you have any questions, should it's uh, I will have the device uh, with me still for for quite a long time. So I I will be using this as my main device now and uh, ch check uh, check how good it will be on that use. So. Mobile computer with great battery life, almost 10 hours on my use. They are saying it's 10 hour device and it really looks like it. The huge standby uh, uh, hours, so you could leave this for standby for, for maybe a week or something. I haven't tested, of course, because I've been using. And performance enough for, for many things. Really nice to surf and uh, relax on the sofa on the tablet mode. Good keyboard. So all in all, a great device for mobility. As I said, the price starts at 699, so it's much uh, 
more expensive than many netbooks around but this totally isn't an average netbook this is a true mobile computer and a tool of its own league so so really keep iron Philips 10 if this kind of device it is what you need and keep your eyes on jkmobile.com for the full release information on the dynamism and other sides so more coming soon maybe tablets maybe convertibles or maybe something else so thank you bye